Hello guys and this is TFE Gaming here and welcome to this video and today we have big news regarding FIFA 21 next gen. EA has released an article explaining everything when it comes to the graphics, lighting and the animation technology of the game. The article also explains the dual entitlement policy which helps players buying FIFA 21 on the PS4 and getting a free upgrade on the next gen. We also came to know about the release date of the next gen so let's proceed with all of this info. Alright guys, before we proceed with this video, let's just celebrate because we are 800k now. So to celebrate this kind of milestone, we are gonna do a massive giveaway. Three copies of FIFA 21 on my Instagram, two copies on this video right here. So what you have to do, tell me in the comment section below, why do you want FIFA 21? And I'll give away the copy of FIFA 21, whosoever has the best comment. On Instagram, basically, you just have to follow me and two copies on YouTube. Basically, you just have to comment here. Good luck and let's proceed with the video. Firstly, we need to talk about the changes that are coming to the game. The article mentioned new innovations unlocked by the power of PS5 and the Xbox Series X, like blazing fast load times and deferred lighting and rendering, enhanced animation technology and off-ball humanization. And more will take on the world's game from visual to visceral, enabling you to feel the next level every time you step on the pitch. So when I made a video about two months ago, I was right on point with whatever was mentioned in this article here. The game will feature differed lighting and it is kinda obvious now. For example, look at this. This is when I was watching Manchester United vs PSG the other day and I loaded up Parc de Prance on the right side and the left side is the real game. You can notice how bad FIFA 21 looks at times. Basically due to the capabilities of the console itself. The generation of the PS4 and the Xbox has hit the ceiling and the changes in the technology with increased teraflops on the console helped in such things to be achieved. We always have to think that the creators of the game always have to make sure that there is a smooth frame rate slash performance is achieved for every user experience and for that they have to limit the game's visual experience because if the console is not capable of something then the upgrade of the console always brings new possibilities and limitless power for the next years. Enhanced animations technology is the next one since the animations are dependent on the joints of the model. With more power we can have more joints for everything. More joints means more realism when it comes to transferring animation from motion capture to the game models. More joints also means that we can have some hilarious bugs and the next generation of consoles is bringing in the capability to have more realism when it comes to the animations. Off-ball humanization has been explained earlier and what it means basically is better crowds and more poly count in the game in general. What does that mean? Basically more people everywhere. Like wherever you go, wherever you check out the crowd, you will see unique personalities with details matching to the face of let's say Ronaldo and Messi every year. So basically we can now have more immersive environments and this is just saying like our game is now like Assassin's Creed Unity back in the day. The way Ubisoft showed thousands of crowd NPCs everywhere in the game. We can also expect EA adding better crowds and animations since the consoles can finally handle it now. Finally we need to talk about the phrase called blazing fast load times and how does it affect our gaming experiences. Well not that much, increasing the speed of the loading into the game also means that the game itself is also very high textured. So it's not that big of a change if the game itself is gonna get bigger since it's next gen. Now loading in the menus will be way quicker, I have an external SSD installed in my PS4 Pro and the difference I feel while loading in the ultimate team menus is huge, I can snipe faster, bid faster. And the slow response time is generally due to the internet or the servers and not on the consoles. Talking about the dual entitlement and how will it work on the next gen consoles. Alright so basically you have already bought the game on the current gen and you want to play the game on the next gen consoles. Your upgrade will be totally free as it says here in the article. How do I make sure I benefit from the dual entitlement on my PS5 and the Xbox Series S slash X? If you purchase FIFA 21 for PS4 or the Xbox One, you will be able to upgrade your copy once you have the corresponding next gen console, basically PS4 to 5, Xbox One to S or X for free by downloading it on your console up until the launch of FIFA 22. How does the dual entitlement upgrade work on the next gen consoles? If you buy the physical copy of the FIFA 21 
on the PS4 or the Xbox One, you will be able to download and play FIFA 21 on the PS5 and the Xbox One S from PlayStation Store or the Microsoft Store for free once the game releases. If you buy a digital copy of the FIFA 21 on the PS4 or the Xbox One, your copy of the FIFA 21 on the PS5 and the Xbox Series S slash X will be bundled with the PS4 and the Xbox One copy. You'll be able to download and play FIFA 21 from PS Store or the Microsoft Store for free once it releases on December the 4th. If you buy a physical copy of FIFA 21 on the PS4 or the Xbox One and upgrade to a discless PS5 or the Xbox Series S, you'll need to contact EA support to validate your purchase using the account information to receive a free upgrade. So basically this explains if you buy a disc for FIFA 21 on the current gen consoles, you need to contact EA when the next gen consoles arrive and they will hook you up with the free upgrade. Will I need a disc to play on the PS5 or the Xbox Series S or X? FIFA 21 on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series S slash X will be a digital thing of the game and you'll be able to download once the game launches on December 4th. If you buy a physical copy of FIFA 21, you need the disc to be inserted in your PS5 and the Xbox Series X to be able to launch FIFA 21 on those consoles. If you buy a physical copy of FIFA 21, and upgrade to a discless next-gen console, you'll need to contact EA support as I said earlier. So basically, if you buy FIFA 21 on the next-gen consoles with a disc, you can play with the disc. If you buy the disc on the old gen, you need to contact them and they'll hook you up with the next-gen upgrade. That's it. Talking about all the progress and the saves that you guys built up in the current gen consoles right now and how will they get carried over, the article says, will my progress on the PS4 transfer to the PS5 or Xbox One to the Xbox Series S or X? All progress you make or content you acquire within FIFA 21 Ultimate Team including players, items, coins and FIFA points, match record and leaderboard placements as well as all progression in Walter Football will be transferable from the current gen to the next gen console that is. Progress within all other modes including online season, co-op seasons, career modes and pro clubs will be specific to the console and won't get transferred. What happens if I play FIFA 21 on the next gen consoles before December the 4th? For players that boot up FIFA 21 on the next gen consoles in this time period will be experiencing the backwards compatible version of FIFA 21 with performance comparable to the PS4 Pro if you're playing on the PS5. So for example, if you launch the game before December the 4th, you'll be playing the same game that you play right now, but after December the 4th, it'll be a different game with different lighting, animations, etc, 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 as I explained earlier. This obviously shows that the game is completely different on the next-gen console since they are saying that if you play the game on the next-gen before you'll be playing an old version of the game. That means the next-gen game is confirmed and now it is different. Once I upgrade, can I go back to the PS4 or the Xbox One? Yes, you'll be able to play FIFA 21 on PS4 and Xbox One once you have taken the upgrade. That's what dual entitlement means. You can do back and forth, just not in online seasons, co-op, career mode and pro clubs as they've explained earlier. So. Alright guys, that's the end of the video and thank you so much for the 800 subscriber milestone. I'm so grateful to you guys that you watch me every day and make my life as amazing as it is. Anyways, click subscribe, like and peace.